Hey everybody, and welcome to the next flame click tip. Now, this one's on an interesting topic that I've used on a couple of jobs as of late, um, and I thought it would be very useful. So, first I'm gonna show you the, the dilemma. So this is gonna be about um, creating uh, connected segments um, using batch effects, but also back clips. Um, and it's very handy in the, in the case of screen replacements. So, I'll show you um, how I got to this just so it makes a little bit of sense. So let's say we're using this um, this clip, you know, and we you know we have it in different parts in this really basic sequence. We have it show up three times, and say we want to, uh, you know, let's just create a normal segment for it. You know, we don't we don't need a connected segment. We just need a normal batch effects. And once we're in here, let's say I know that this uh, element is going to be our screen, right? So this is not going to change, or if it does, it's going to be swapped out. So say this guy had, you know, we had some blurs on it. We had some color on it. Um, again, just very crude and say uh, all nodes. And I'm just going to go, I'm just going to do this. And just, you know, let's scale it in just for the heck of it. You know, say this was our, our guy and we knew this was going to change. Now. Ideally, in a perfect world, um, it would be great if you could just go, okay, well, I just want to, you know, let's say if we go create batch effects and then open this guy and say create segment connection. See, uh, that's the problem. This doesn't actually exist in batch. Um, it doesn't even work in normal batch. And it's just, uh, it's not a bug, it's just a limitation of this um, um, cool technique with the um, segment connections. So again, like um, the power of this for me would be if I know that's not going to change and I know I'm just swapping this out is, um, you know, if this was live, I could just, you know, go, you know, swap in the latest guy and it's going to trickle. The best bit would be all through my comps. So this is kind of the reverse of a normal segment connection or even um, uh, a source connection because uh, the source is always going to be dependent on the source or a segment one is going to be looking at what's underneath. Say if we had a a back clip and that doesn't really work um, and I'll show you why really quick so if I do I do this as a top segment and we make this a batch effects and say we bring in that and again if we do an action this is where it becomes clear so if this was what I was using I've got a perspective and we pull these down quickly dial them in okay so there we go say that's dialed in perfectly there's our guy and let's, you know, again, let's go create segment connection. If we did populate these down further in the, uh, the tree, um, say with this guy and this guy, and then we jump in here and say quickly, just make this match the sizing for this comp and chuck that in and then jump out. You say we have our separate ones, but say something does change. Um, you know, say we like this one, but you know, if you want to update, if we did do anything else in here that did have, you know, some color and whatever for that, for that matter, if I did update this guy and sync, you'll see now again, we're going to be, it's not what we want. And this is because the background sizes are changing. And again, this, this technique really lends itself to um, screen replacements, um, phone comps, um, stuff that you know, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's just kind of rinse, lather, repeat, and it can get very tedious in batch copying and pasting and copying and pasting for that type of stuff. So again, so this technique um, in this way then doesn't work too. So my, uh, my little workaround I came up with and I like, I'm just going to put this on the top layer, is kind of doing it in reverse. So what does that mean? Um, let's do this. So I'll do Alt Delete um, with this guy selected. And I'm going to add a batch effects there. And I'm going to grab in that source. Okay. Now, if I jump out, and we'll see. So you see, that's my screen insert element that I'm going to use. And again, I know this is common to all of the, the, green, the green guys that are slightly different in sizing. So my, uh, my way to do this, which I think works pretty well, is if I go in here and say, again, let's just make it obvious and I'll do a color corrector on top, blah, 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 is to use the top layer um, of our source that it's going to go into 
and use backclip. Now, um, again, so this is kind of what, what I was hoping for with the right click create batch effects, except you can't obviously say update, you know, sync segments within here. However, you can do it from timeline. So again, the beauty of this now, if we do pipe these guys in and quickly set them in just, just for the example, if we do quickly put these guys in, jump out and again, I'm going to right click and go create segment connection off this, this background layer. And again, I'm just going to paste these guys in and time that out. And again, let's quickly, I'm going to go selection as clip for that top layer, which is fine. And again, we'll pull out the back clip and quickly dial that in and scale it down. Again, this is a different sizing like, um, like you saw before. And there we go. I'll just go in there. Okay, so if I jump out, again, we're still referencing the same guy at the bottom. But now the interesting thing starts to happen is, you know, if something does change, you know, where do you, uh, you know, it's easier to apply this guy to the other stuff. So if I am in, you know, in this one, for example, and I pull off my blur, I don't want all that, that stuff going on. I jump out. Again, it's still, it's still on this guy, but when I do sync it from here, you see my sizing matches properly because we're referencing it as a back clip. Now this can, you know, be, can go even further in interesting ways. Um, if you did set this up and you say had an alpha channel, um, just for this example, if we had, um, you know, some basic alpha going on, if I do put that out there as well. You see it automatically adds our comp, but there's another cool thing that is a feature that exists in batch effects and in general that is kind of overlooked is back clips are kind of multi-channel. So we have the ability to see that alpha. Now this is cool if you did have text or elements you wanted to animate and break out from here, although I wouldn't recommend that, but the, the option's there. Now the other cool uh, side effect with this guy too, if we go back into the base one, it doesn't have to be an alpha, right? You know, we're, we should all know that now. It's just whatever you want to pipe through. So again, if I go to color, color source and just make this pal bars, put that in as the alpha, you see that shows up. The only thing I have to do is just disable comp. And now if I'm in here, you'll see my alpha is actually a, you know, a pseudo multi-layer um, guy that's all referenced from back here. So that's, that's quite interesting. Now, the other thing to note too is if, if there is, you know, say you're not going to really be animating these bits too much. Um, you know, so say it's just like a generic kind of blurred out background you're going to put in into the screen comp and you know it's going to be recycled for the source. Um, you know, and again, if I just sync that, it's going to go to, uh, again, it's going to only sync this background bit, which is fine. So, but again, if I go in to the top one, you see that the bars do exist. So, you know, that's cool that that exists. Now, the other cool thing too is if, say you didn't want to have to keep syncing these, you could always do it just from the back clip too. So if I did trim these out and say you did, um, you did want to do animation from here, if you make sure to leave your timeline focus up and I'm going to remove this segment connection. So the segment connection is if you need it or you feel like it's warranted um, or if your timeline doesn't allow for it. But the other thing too is remember, if you are um, going into the base comp, uh, the actual comp, sorry, the batch effects, and then we do view the, you know, the context timeline result. The cool thing is if we go to timeline range, any changes we do make in here, um, I'm just gonna unpipe that. So actually that won't work because it needs an alpha. So I'll just quickly make it white and then go back to Alt 2 and I'll just make that timeline effects, okay. So the cool thing now is if we're in timeline range, um, it's referencing, we can see where, how it affects our comps later in there too. So again, uh, if you're thinking about it from a source level, this can be quite handy because again, you can tweak one part, see how it looks here and quickly see how it trickles into your other comps. And again, it's, um, in this example, again, it's just using the one clip, but again, this can be very useful and used as, um, a synced or a connected segment like you saw, but using, uh, back clips. 
So that's it for this uh, quick tip, guys. I hope uh, you found this useful. Uh, stay tuned for more.